Martin O'Neill, who's not shied away from multiple changes in qualifying, makes just one from the team that drew in Zanitza. A second match three days later is too much for Stephen Ward, so Friday scorer Robbie Brady returns to left-back, and Jonathan Walters makes his comeback after being suspended for the first leg. Kieran Clark and Richard Keogh showed enough to deter O'Neill from bringing John O'Shea straight back, and Daryl Murphy stays in up front. Bosnia make three changes from the first meeting, two in defence. Odnen Branjes, who came on to set up the equalising goal, starts in place of the injured Mensa Mudja. And Tony Šunić is left out. Sead Kalazinac, the Schalke defender who played for Bosnia at the last World Cup, gets a recall. The other change sees a return for Harris Madunjanin, whose goals against Cyprus earned Bosnia their appearance in this match. Edin Dzeko, who had been declared a fitness doubt, leads the line once again. Shane Long's main impact in this qualifying campaign for Ireland has been as a substitute, and he's available again after the injury he sustained in Poland. Everton's Mohamed Besic is an option for Bosnia after serving a three-match suspension. And the hope that they can look forward to an appearance in next summer's tournament. Well, there's going to be one side who's going to be extremely happy, and all those, the other side completely sad at uh, the outcome of this match this evening. But uh, we'll just see how both teams line up. I say, I think they're only going to be one striker. Bosnia going to pack the midfield area. There is Lulic. And the first time that Richard Keogh has been called into action. He and Kieran Clark solid enough in the first leg to make sure that there was no hasty return for John O'Shea, who was suspended for that match but has also been injured recently. Here's Madunian in, one of the three changes made by the Bosnian coach, Bazdarovic. And that's gone out from Sotsalic. Both teams so far a little bit edgy, haven't they? You've just seen Richard Keogh and an easy ball played back to him. And miss kicked out for a throw-in. Madunian in. And one back by James McCarthy, who wrestles his way past his man. And Spajic misses his kick, which opens up a possibility here for Daryl Murphy. This is Hendrik, Brady making the run, Houlihan feeds him, and Walters is in the middle, and stretches out a leg, but Begovic gets it away. I tell you, actually, half a yard away from Ireland, taking the lead there. Lovely build-up click, one and two touch, good movement off the ball, as we see here. Eventually comes to Robbie Brady, fires it across the face of the goal. Look how close he is to it there, Jonathan Walters. Begovic is rather lucky just to play the ball behind him. I'm not sure he knew a great deal about it. Murphy wins the head out, and Walters with a touch for Houlihan. And now Ireland can cause danger again down that channel from which they've already had joy tonight. Brady. Hendrick. Brady again, it's good build-up this. Murphy shows for it, and it's cleared by Zakanovic. And Hendrick takes over. And Spice brings him down. And are we going to see the first booking as well for Emir Spice? Well, it looked that way, didn't it? And then he was very late there, wasn't he? The defender came across, just pleading his case to Mr. Kaifer as the referee there that uh, there was nothing wrong with the challenge, but uh, he looked a little bit light. He just had a little nudge. He got to get a bit of the ball, there's no doubt about it. He did get a bit of the ball as he came in to make the challenge here on Hendrick. Lovely touch from Houlihan. Murphy on the turn. And Begovic at full stretch gets there. And the referee has pointed to the spot. There is no complaints from the referee who's assistant. Um, they're just going to have a word. The Bosnian players with assistant be behind the goal there. As it may have been him, he actually communicated with the referee. But when Murphy turned, he just delivered the ball in. And straight away, the Irish players were asking for a penalty kick, and he duly obliged. And another yellow card it looks like for Lulic on this occasion. Senad Lulic, yellow carded. Well, here's the turn, there's the ball in. I mean, that's harsh. It comes off Sukanovic, I'm not sure he knows a great deal about it. I mean, that's the merest of touches. For me, that's not penalty. Never look like Miss 
Jonathan never looked like Madison Jonathan Walters as he stepped up there to send his goalkeeper the goalkeeper the wrong way was nested in that far corner and the delight of the Irish fans the delight of the Irish players and that is a huge goal for Ireland and then certainly Bosnia are up against it well, I've got to say Rob will come back to it in my opinion that wasn't a penalty very very harsh but look at the quality of the strike from Walters and the delight of the Irish players and the Irish fans Bosnia have to get their heads together there was a risk of them losing their discipline Sheko leading from the front Hitting the side netter. Yeah, better play. He always had it in his mind there that Edin Dzeko was going to get a strike at goal. Finish aiming this for Edin Dzeko, who wins the header for Madunyanen. too close to the keeper but you can see he's got plenty of bodies in and around him he's only got eyes on the ball that's excellent goalkeeping you know from Begovic <laughs> right into the midriff of Jonathan Walters by Spyage who was booked in the first half has been living on the edge ever since every time he's involved there's a great clamour certainly from supporters and maybe one or two of the players having a word as well that he has been skating on thin ice for some time well now. he has Rob there's no question about it and why is he going in for a challenge like that I'm not sure because Jonathan Walters is going absolutely nowhere just allow him to have possession of the ball there and he's just going to lay the ball off but uh, he's committed to try and win it his foot's rather high the ball's out of one I mean I think in another case you get a yellow card for that if you're not on a yellow you certainly get one for that I and mean, I think the referee's been very very lenient with him Starovic, the Bosnia coach, will be a relieved man. Brady, wicked delivery! And it's in! And it's Jonathan Walters again! Walters doubles his money, lifts the pressure, and Ireland take a huge step towards the finals! I'd like to say, that's game set in match for me. See Bosnia coming back into it now with 20 minutes left. Defensive duty now, and Seamus Coleman looks to set Shane Long away, and that falls short from Spire to Long to finish the job. And Begovic, Begovic denies it. There's a little nudge there from Spire. That's what uh, Shane Long's asking the question of the referee. I've got to say the referee's position was excellent. It was a huge mistake by Spire once again. They had a load Long in. Looking to deliver it in there. Dzeko got the knockdown for Jurich, but again, that Irish defence standing strong. Here in Clark, positionally brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Nice and strong, held off Jurich. That's what we expect them, wasn't it, to do more of. Just flake balls into the box and try to win the header, then get the second ball from there, but well defended by Clark. Panic kills in the kick towards the beast of it. It could go anywhere, and Randolph pounces on it. 
sure exactly what happened there. They looked like it was a handball. And on one occasion, they looked like it could have been by an Irish player. He was pinballing about everywhere. There's lots of Bosnian players in there. Eventually, somehow, it landed in the arms of Darren Ryan. But Dolph was grateful to just hold on to the ball. Keogh wins it. McCarthy just got his arm across the front of Pjanic there and gives away a free kick. But Ireland now just 90 seconds away from the finals. I think I've just seen Mark Ronin smile. <laughs> just on the technical area with uh, Steve Walford and Roy Keane, and he knows this is it. Shakespeare's lost out all! They had a real scare there as it rattles the woodwork. And Ireland just got off the hook late on, and Bessic bends it back in, and it's glanced away by Seamus Coleman. Well, I think there was also Turic giving me a challenge with Jonathan Walters. He just tucked his shirt, which was seen by the referee, and he's gave Ireland the free kick. But that was a chance. I think it was Ibisevic who actually got the strike at goal. Well, he didn't look as happy there, did he? There's the chance coming in, there's a strike coming in and six inches lower, that's 2-1. Well, some sarcastic applause from Dzeko towards the referee, he's been booked. Juric has been booked as well. The party can start in Dublin! The Republic of Ireland has made it to the European Championship Finals in France and the so-called managerial odd couple, Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane, have pulled it off! A campaign that's had its highs and lows, finishes on a real high. They've cleared the final hurdle thanks to two goals from Jonathan Walters. Great scenes here in Dublin. Ireland have won the second leg of a playoff for the first time. They've beaten Bosnia by two goals to nil. What a night for Martin O'Neill as his side complete a 3-1 success on aggregate.